there's huge interest at Oberlin right now in translation. At the very practical level, that seems like, oh, well, we're in an increasingly globalized world. It's useful to be able to switch from one language to another. Um, but I think it's about something bigger than that. I think it's about something philosophical. I'm Claire Solomon, Oberlin class of 98, and I teach classes in Hispanic studies, Latin American studies, and comparative literature. If it's really just about teaching a second language, ultimately I think technology can do a lot in terms of helping people to uh, master the ability to communicate with uh, another speaker of that language. What I don't think that technology has solved yet, and I think it will be a while before it does, is the cultural aspect of language. And those are the reasons that I study other cultures and that I consider myself really a comparatist, someone who looks at problems cross-culturally. When you are bilingual, you really are bringing different cultural frames of reference to problem solving. I value uh, the ability to see uh, complexity and nuance and not to see the world in black and white terms. So once you speak two languages, almost by definition, you're not seeing the world in black and white terms. Because you know there's at least one synonym for every word you know, usually more than one, and that they will have different valences and different connotations and different cultural baggage. So it's not just about like, I'm going to be a better employee, my resume will look better because I speak Spanish or I speak Mandarin or whatever. It's about managing different frames of reference and really being a mediator in the world. Being someone who can understand that things are not as clear cut as they tend to be presented. It really is about how to live with different points of view, how to enrich your understanding because others disagree. I definitely think that in the classroom, more than getting students proficient in Spanish, although that is always a secondary goal of any class I teach that is taught in Spanish, I'm much more interested in cognitively working on uh, an appreciation of multiplicity, flexibility, versatility, freeform problem solving. I often tell my students, if you're having trouble solving a problem, try thinking about it in the other language, which is really about becoming citizens of the world in a meaningful way, in a way that resonates with the 21st century.